Hi, I'm Jerry Smith and welcome to my study. You know, when you think about the national media in Binghamton, you think I'm going to talk about Rod Serling, but you'd be wrong. Because little did you know that our importance goes back decades before that time. We're going to go back to November 1913, when an Italian inventor by the name of Guglielmo Marconi was experimenting with what he called wireless receivers. Today, you caught the radio. He hired a young engineer by the name of David Sarnoff, who a year before had picked up the messages from the Carpathian, the ship that picked up the survivors of the Titanic, to erect towers here in Binghamton and in Scranton that would send signals to a moving train. In November of that year, a tower by the Lackawanna train station and one over by the Kilmer building picked up messages sent from Scranton to a train traveling at 60 miles an hour. The experiment was so successful within a year, Marconi had created his radio. And Sarnoff went on to become General David Sarnoff, the creator of the Radio Corporation of America, what we call RCA, the parent company of then NBC. So if you've ever walked by the old train station on your way to a Mets game and you see a thing that looks like an oil derrick, that's actually the Marconi radio tower. Take a minute and read the plaque. It's important history of our national media. Thank you.